Hi everybody, my name is Sylvia Eberly and uh, I will be your tutor, your accordion teacher for this lesson which we take from the book Palmer Youth Accordion Course, uh, book one. It's a very nice little book, it's not very difficult to read, it has a lot of pictures and it's the beginning, it's the beginning stage and you can look through how to hold your accordion. If you have a small accordion, which is a 12 base, and of course you know how many fingers we have. So we're gonna start with the first song. But before that, I want to introduce you to the keyboard. Now this particular instrument is an electric accordion. It's a little bit different. So we find the C. <laughs> Very simple. We have to have five fingers here. Yeah. So we try and we have five fingers. They go C, D, E, F, G. And uh, you find that this is the treble uh, keyboard and this is your bass side. We try to find the indented button, which is the C button. It's a start. So we're going to talk about two, two buttons, the C button and the G button. <laughs> Now, since we don't uh, see our uh, our side from the bass side, um, we go ahead and and try to practice just to get the feeling of uh, how that bass feels like. Now, you might have a big accordion or a small accordion, but everybody has a little dent. So, so the biggest challenge is. How to have enough air. So there's a sum of rule. It's two out, two in. It's your bellow. And this is your strap here and there's a little button called the air button. So if you have not enough air just to the rescue. So don't start your accordion with complete closed bellows. It's very difficult to have enough air but have a little bit an open space. So when you do You will have enough air to come in. One, two, three, four. And press your key down, and you feel this board here. Don't uh, slur on it. Don't use five fingers, it doesn't work. Just use one finger, which is the fourth finger. So we're going to use four, three, three. to push down the button on the bass side and uh, practice at least for a couple of days just the bass side. It will really help you to have a better control over the accordion. Now, so if you don't know how to read notation, please uh, refer to the book which gives you a very nice uh, practice how to write your own own notation and uh, the first uh, treble side is very easy the first practice bass drop is not too tight but also not too loose. It's very important to have a good strong pull and push because we have to push the accordion in and out. So have a very nice feeling about that. Also use a chair, just a regular chair, not with arms. Just you know a stool is fine. Now I'm going to go and let you read the rest of the book by yourself and practice on it. And I'm going to teach you how to play together. Most important thing is how to put everything together. Now we know one side, we learn the other side. Now we have to put it together. And the very good ways of playing together is on page number 10 of this book. 
So hold your hands, hold your finger on the C, on the treble side. Find it. Just give it a feeling. And here we have one, two, three, like a waltz. So we go and hold or hold or C and try just to do that. Hold it down. Third finger and stick it on the C and then back to C. And when we're finishing up, we press both buttons, both C buttons together. And then when you play the bass, try to don't slur it, but play it staccato. Very get the feeling of the bass button coming up on you. So I'm gonna do Bada Up, which is the first uh, part of this lesson. And this is on page 11. And I'm gonna play first the bass side. It's always good to do the bass side first because you can't see your bass, so you still have to get used to the feeling of the bass. So you count to three. Everybody knows how to count to three, right? Good. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. and then we go up to G and to one, two, three, four, exactly the same way, four times. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and dance a waltz in your mind. And then again, for bada up, one, two, three, three times the C bass. Then we go to G. And together. So always remember, have a little bit of air when you're starting a song. So in this way, when you go two times out, two times in. And if you feel you can't quite make it, do one out instead. Like, uh, let's see, I'll give you an example. You're coming up on... So do one push out when you feel that you don't have enough air to finish the song. Okay, I'm gonna do batter up on both sides. have enough for practice right now and I will be back and teach some more of Palmer Youth introduction course number one. You have a wonderful day and start dancing.